back again. My name is Matt, welcome back to the shop and today this is another quick video based on what Tim was doing. <laughs> this is great you see, when people send me videos and stuff I can see what they're doing and I don't just watch what the problems they've got, I'm watching the other stuff that they are doing and sometimes that they are doing something, you know, it's fine. Sometimes uh, you can do things either you don't understand or you're doing it wrong. It's just great because I get to pick up what people are actually doing. Right then, so the thing that Tim was doing is he was measuring, um, or one of the ways if you've got one of these snazzy snazzy laser guns is that you can um, investigate if one of your cylinders is misfiring or something like that by basically exhaust temperature. So what you do is you give this a shoot there, look, let's turn the laser on because some of these have lasers. You can see there's a laser beam there and you go like that and you go 42, you go like that, you go 40, 38, that says 55 or something shit like that and that says 48. Now, you might notice on these guns, and I don't know if you can, well you can see that, but on that gun there there's this stupid little range thing. And what this says is this is distant and spot size in seconds, so it's D to S, 8 to 1. And it gives you uh, ranges like 25 and 50 and 100 and 200, all that shit, then it gives you it in inches. Just ignore that. Basically what it's saying is that you need a longer exposure time and all the rest of it while you're pointing at something to get accuracy. Nah, I wouldn't trust it at all. Couple of inches away, an inch away, something like this. Now, the other thing that you need to take into consideration with these kind of guns, and especially with just infrared measurements full stop, and if you watch Thunderfoot's video, he makes a point about it as well. Some materials reflect UV, something uh, ultra infrared, sorry, not UV, yes, that as well, but some things uh, reflect infrared, some things are transparent to infrared, and then they are and they aren't, and so on and so forth. It's a bit like... Um, you know, uh, glass, some glass or some transparent materials that are transparent to our vision, you know, the, the uh, wavelength of light we can see in, are not the same um, when it comes to infrared and UV and all the rest of it. Uh, it's all about wavelength and how they interact and all that kind of shit. The whole point is this, is that this is a shiny pipe. This will reflect um, a lot of infrared just as much as it will absorb it, stuff like that. So the best way to do it is, is when you're going over here, it's a broad spectrum, if you look at these things, is that um, that laser light thing just a annoys me. It's like, well, if I, I'm, you know, you're measuring that spot, you're not, that's bollocks. Um, basically, all you need to do is as, as close as you can and each individual pipe. So, um, like I say, if we look at it right now, from here, We've got, I'll put my laser back on. We'll do it exactly right at the end of the bend. 27, 27, 29, 34, but it's fluctuating shitloads. And that one, 21. But I bet it's not. <laughs> yeah, that's not 21 degrees. It's like this. This says it's 32. Well, I'm 30, and that says 32. That is not fucking 30 degrees. Holy shit, I can feel it's nearly burnt my fingers. That is not 30 degrees. This is the way that these things, it's reflected. Now what can you do? You can put black tape on it. Nah, you'll never get the little gunk everywhere and all the rest of it. You want to aim for something that isn't as reflective. So if we look at the actual cylinder, put on the actual aluminium for the cylinder, that says 80. That's more like it. We'll try and bury it in there. That says 88. That says, I can't fucking see. That says 87, and that says 86. You see, that's more like it. This saying to you, you can hope, hopefully you can see that. That says 32, let's see. Let's see if you can see that. That's right on the top of the header, uh, without the light fucking washing it out. Bastard. There. Fucking bloody camera. There. What's that saying? What's that saying? There you go. 38. That's fucking not 38. That's a fucking lie. Right? <laughs> These things, nah. You know what I mean? They are what they are. And even the expensive fluke ones and all the rest of it, it depends how reflective that material is. 
and and so on it's, it depends on the frequency of all this that and the other they are not good temperature measurements try and basically get yourself a contact thermometer you can get these little stick thermometers where it's got a little a, a retractive pin that's a lot better um, than uh, you know than these stupid things so we'll start the bike up and we'll see what temperatures we get out of this go remember this is air cooled not water <laughs> So you can see there's a lot of difference and look how you see I'm melting the shit out of my bloody thing but fuck it, what do I care? Hope that makes sense and I'll see you in a bit.